Hey, this is Alan Elliott for AU Fitness, and today's video is entitled Running Late Again. I'm going to share with you five tricks to help you beat the clock. Stay tuned for more. dates, appointments, meetings. These are all regularly scheduled activities in our life. However, if you find yourself running 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes late, that can be signs of underlying symptoms. So it could be a sign of disorganization or proper planning. So there's things you want to take in mind because in certain cultures, uh, running late or arriving um, uh, late is not acceptable. So not in terms of being fashionably late. We're just talking about routinely being late and having that that can put a strain on relationships that can also um, put a strain on your job security. You know, if you're not able to arrive on time for work, perform a task that shows that you may not be as responsible as you were assumed to be at a previous time. So again, we're going to talk about these five tricks that can help you beat the clock and arrive on time and keep those relationships intact. Trick number one is to think realistically. So you may think it only takes 15 minutes to get dressed and head out the door for work, but in actuality, it takes 30 or 45 minutes. So let's not count that one time where you skipped the priorities of breakfast or taking out the trash and you zoomed into work and you made it on time. Let's exercise, uh, let's plan this exercise to help you have an achievable goal of what it realistically takes. So. Let's set aside some time from when you wake up from the alarm first goes off in the morning to the time that you physically made it to work. And let's track that for a week so we can have a better estimate on the actual time that it may take you to arrive at a task. Let's also account for traffic because what may take you longer at one period of the day may also take you shorter at another period of the day. So let's also take that into account. Trick number two, no more snooze. So hitting the snooze button, getting that extra five to nine minutes of sleep can actually throw your whole day and work schedule off. So rather than hitting that snooze button, let's pick an alarm that's gonna be vibrant and stimulating enough to get you out of bed, even if you have to set it on the other side of the room. Another thing you may wanna keep in mind is having multiple snoozes where you know there's a hard cutoff button. But who wants to do math that early in the morning? So Let's rely on that first alarm to get us out of bed. Trick number three, plan ahead. If you know you have an important meeting at the very beginning of the day or traffic's gonna be tough, let's go ahead and set aside some time to prepare for your day the night prior. So uh, make that food, lay out your clothes, uh, put anything in order, be it uh, bags, things that you need to carry with you, so that when you wake up the next day, it's just gonna flow much easier and it's gonna take that stress and anxiety off of you. Trick number four is to set reminders. So if you are easily distracted or forgetful, you can actually set reminders prior to an event to help keep your mind conscious and engaged that it is coming up so that you'll be ready for it. So again, when it comes to uh, setting these reminders if you know that this event is going to happen and then it's going to give you a certain amount of time to make it there You want to reverse game plan and set that reminder so you prepared and you immensely have enough time That you've already calculated to help you get to where you need to go in an orderly fashion trick number five Allow buffer time So let's say you have a meeting at 10 a.m. Just plan to arrive at 9 45. That's going to give you a little bit of buffer in case you get lost or traffic is unexpectedly backed up. So giving you that amount of buffer time is going to allow you for any uh, worst case scenarios or wild circumstances. So uh, we had a saying in the military which says, if you're early, you're on time, and if you're on time, you're late. So sometimes people who, who don't maybe subscribe to allowing a buffer time, they just hate downtime, they hate that idle time. So rather than think of it negatively, 
if you do arrive early, use this as an opportunity to send a text to a friend or read a magazine or check your email. So those are just gonna be some things you can do, but it also give you that peace of mind that you are ready for that appointment at the prescribed time. If you would like to read more about this particular topic, be sure to check out the link provided below in the description box. This topic actually comes from my fitness magazine. Be sure to also like and subscribe to the AD Fitness YouTube channel. And as always, immerse yourself in the process, take action, and enjoy the journey.